Welcome back to another episode of the Building HVAC Science Podcast. It's our goal to help create better, more knowledgeable HVAC and building performance technicians by helping the two professions to better understand each other and work together with the ultimate goal of making customers happy and healthy in the homes they live in and the buildings they work in. I'll let you guess who this next guest will be. Guess the guest. How's that? Just change one little letter that changes the whole context of things. So we'll just get right into the episode and see who this guest is and what they have to say. Hey, we're back here at Building HVAC Science. And the guest I would like to introduce you to is me, again, myself. Hey, everybody. This is one of those monological episodes that I've done before, at least one of before, and I'm going to do again for your listening pleasure and entertainment. So three major things I wanted to talk about, a couple upcoming conferences, a business education workshop program that I got involved with in 2016, and just some observations on openness. So here we go. First thing coming up, and this is actually next week as I'm recording this here, this is the National HVACR Education Conference. This year it'll be again in Las Vegas at the South Point area, March 20th through 22nd. Very compact agenda, but a ton of stuff going on. This is sponsored by ESCO Group. That's By the time you hear this, it might be a little bit too late to actually register. But if you go to escogroup.org and look for the HVAC NHETC conference, you'll find out more about it. But this, hopefully you're coming. And it's not really limited only to educators. I think Really, we see contractors, all kinds of people showing up there. I met a local contractor there totally by accident last year, just sitting around in one of the break periods. But some of the things going on at the conference are discussions about A2L, and some of the names you might recognize, Don Gillis, Jamie Hale, and Dr. Charles Allgood. Also talking about low GWP refrigerants and what the workforce needs to know. That's by Helen Walter Taroni. Eugene Silberstein will be doing presentations on easing student pain points. And I'm only like a tenth of the way into the agenda. Ed Janowak will be there talking about Manuel S. getting a facelift. Pat Murphy will be talking about testing methodologies. Jim Bergman's going to be there. I'm going to be there presenting with Eric Kaiser and Bill Graber and Chris Hughes and Steve Rogers from the Energy Conservatory from Tech. A ton of great information being shared at this conference. People like Rachel Kaiser will be there, Eric Kaiser's wife, teaching Meth, meth, oh boy, methodical problem solving. Sorry about that. Sorry, Rachel. I might have to go to that session. Lori Northrup from North Park Innovations will be talking about keys to unlocking Perkins funding for your school program. There is a bias towards school and education program, but education is just so rampant in the industry right now. This is a great place to absorb and learn so many different things. Carter Stanfield will be talking about planning for success. Just a great conference overall. Can't speak more positively about it. There are also some virtual aspects to it. So check that out that are scheduled to open up on the first day of the following months of May, June, and July. So that's that's pretty interesting. I think this conference has been going on since the mid-2000s. I think I got involved in 2009 for the first time. Just met a lot of great people and continued a lot of great friendship and fellowship and learning, most importantly, learning from that. So escogroup.org, take a look at that. In April, coming up, I'll be attending the National Home Performance Conference, uh, sponsored by the Building Performance Association. That's going to be held in Seattle, Washington, April 17th through 20th. Uh, Accompanying me there will be uh, Eric Kaiser and my son, Bill Spohn Jr. And this is the 37th year in a row that they put this conference together. It started off, I believe, in 1984 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and then bounced around between Pittsburgh and Philly for several years. I got involved and started attending in 1989 and attended most of the sessions, and they did a lot of regionals too. So you'll find this at building-performance.org. And look under the events, and you'll see NHPC, National Home Performance Conference 23. 
and you get to find out about all the different aspects of this conference. Registration still going on for it right now. There's a networking and a trade show available. There's CEU opportunities if you're looking for ASHI, that's the Home Inspectors Institute, BPI, Internachi, NARI, and NATE credits can all be earned through going to a lot of the educational courses. The educational sessions there, just an unbelievable array there. I don't know how they fit so much into such a period of time, but there's full day workshops starting on Monday. There are also 90 minute sessions and the breakouts that start on Tuesday. And these are all different topics. They have them broken down by tracks. So there's affordable housing and multifamily building envelope discussions. And that one might include things like how does the energy code apply to existing homes? 37 ways to build a roof wrong and how to avoid them. That's by my friend Doug Horgan from BOA, Design Build Experts. Other ones include home performance policy, HVAC strategies, a lot of them there. Cold climate, heat pumps, do's and don'ts by John Herod with Helco. That'll be on Monday. Ventilation extravaganza with Rick Karg and Paul Francisco talking about ventilation schemes and probably about ASHRAE 62.2. Sealing the duct, heat pumps for electrification, employing design strategies for energy efficiency and company profits. That will be with Gavin Healy and Dan Perunko from Balance Point Home Performance and Keith O'Hara from Eco Performance Builders. Just a ton of different sessions here. I'm going to run out of time just reading through these. IEQ and Healthy Homes, Operating Delivering Weatherization Programs, Running Your Home Performance Business. Business-oriented things are always great. I want to stay in business. And then there's also a trade show. And you'll see companies like Aero Barrier, April Air, Clean Fiber, Clear Result, Coded Energy, which is our friends at Quick Model, Russ and Connor King, Conduit Tech, which is a new program for doing load calculations. Take a look at it, Conduit, C-O-N-D-U-I-T dot tech, T-E-C-H. That's a new one coming out. They'll have an exhibit there. The Energy Circle will be there, friends Peter Trost and his gang, Everblue, Green Heck Fans, Hike Micro, one of the brands that we cover, IDI Distributors. It's just a great collection of many different companies there. Retrotech, of course. ResNet will also be there. Sealed, which is a company that's opening up various areas of different financing means for people to achieve uh, better home performance. The Energy Conservatory, Tech, Home Depot will be there. And this company called True Tech Tools will be there. I don't know if you ever heard of them. VentCap Systems, a ton of different companies there. And that'll be in Seattle in April. And that conference is the 17th through 20th in Seattle, Washington. The next thing going on, it actually happens to be that same week, is the National Comfort Institute member conference. So they call their conference the HVAC High Performance Summit. It happens April 17th through 20th, and this one's in Branson, Missouri. The website for this, really easy to remember, go to summit.com, S-U-M-M-I-T.com, go to summit.com. It's a great place to learn about delivering high performance HVAC systems on service, maintenance, and installations. A lot of great topics will be covered there. Non-members can also attend, as well as Daikin, Goodman and Amana dealers, NCI members, and NCI premium members. So there's all different kinds of rates for this show. Different types of people can apply and to attend this conference. Some of the breakout sessions at the conference include uh, by Al Diambola, Profitable System Upgrade Leads Through Testing and Diagnostics and Service Calls. And then Mr. Jim Davis will be talking about keeping customers safe and generating leads with CO safety and combustion testing. David Holt will be talking about increasing success and sales by properly managing service-generated leads. David Richardson will be talking about delivering high performance with hands-on diagnostics in a low-performance town. He'll be presenting with John Perrier. So this is just an idea of some of the different breakout sessions you can see at the NCI Summit, and that's go to summit with two M's and one T dot com. Another topic I want to talk about, and this is something that came up in 2016. I was invited to take part in a program called the 10,000 Small Businesses. Goldman Sachs sponsors this program, and it's actually free education for qualifying small businesses. So I've mentioned this to several people over the years at different times, and uh, recently one person, Phil Zito, at the 
Smart Building Academy, I mentioned to him when we were doing podcasts together and he applied and he got in the program. And so the program includes, it's basically about taking your business to the next level. It's a 12-week program focused on business growth with best-in-class curriculum, great fellowship from other business leaders, business advisors, and a very highly trained faculty. And there's no cost at all to the participants. I think they're upwards of like 13,000 businesses have been trained now in all 50 states, Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico. Some of the topics they cover in those 12 weeks are you and your business, growth opportunities, and you actually do a project. At least the time I took it in 2016, the fall of 2016, we actually constructed a project and had to build a business plan for business growth. The one that struck me most out of that one was It's the People. I really enjoyed that session, and that really shaped and changed the way I approach things at True Tech. All of these topics did really uh, strategic growth through operations, being bankable, and having an action plan for growth. So I would encourage you if you're running a small business, and I've run into contractors there. We've had meetups every couple of years afterwards in Washington, D.C. to talk to legislators about policies for small businesses. And I've been able and grateful to attend those. And I've met up with HVAC contractors there, building performance contractors. Uh, It's just amazing. But all kinds of businesses from all around the United States. So it's 10ksbapply.com. So 10,000 small businesses, 10ksbapply.com. Take a look at that. Last thing I wanted to talk about on a more personal basis is I tongue in cheek or jokingly call myself a chronic volunteer. I tend to do a lot of things that I don't know how I find the time for and sometimes get a little bit behind when I get involved in doing too many things. But I think that comes from sort of a spirit of openness. And I was listening to a podcast on the hidden brain recently, and they were talking about just being open to scenarios and situations and how that can change the outcome, the outlook, the way things happen in your life. So I would encourage everybody to approach things as much as you can with sort of the wonder of a child. Don't immediately question or try to place something in context. Just appreciate even the chaos that sometimes life brings or situations will bring. Approach that with an openness and see where things land. And also the spirit of openness, I found myself helping a couple people in the last week or so with their new home construction plans uh, and starting to give advice from my limited experience because I'm not a builder, but things I've experienced and things I find important in new home construction, especially, you know, along the lines of proper HVAC system sizing, proper installation, proper commissioning, proper service. And of course, the building performance aspects and then getting into IAQ and having the available fresh air for ventilation and controls and all kinds of things like that. That's scattered all throughout the podcasts I've done over the years, so this shouldn't be anything new if you've been a listener. And also helping some new contractors who are finding their voice and doing some writing. One particular was Adam, sent me a draft of an article that he wrote and found it really interesting, entertaining to read. Uh, Really didn't have a heck of a lot to say to give him feedback on, but was flattered by the fact that he sent it to me to give it an eyes over before we published it. So that was really cool. And I like that. And all these people helping him out, being a chronic volunteer and helping them out. I'm going to wrap up right now, give me just a short little episode. I've got a lot more episodes planned, podcasts planned. I'm really starting to get a system together, working with Michael, who's our new marketing assistant, to schedule, to reach out and connect with people. So if there's a topic that you want to hear or someone you'd like me to interview, I'd be happy to do that. Or you want to come on, (laughs) let me know. We'll work through it. So that's bill at truetechtools.com. And just let me know. So I'm going to wrap this episode up, this monological episode up, and appreciate you spending a few minutes with me having some fun talking here. Until next time. Hope you enjoy this episode of the Building HVAC Science Podcast. Building HVAC Science Podcast is a production of True Tech Tools Limited. And in full disclosure, I'm a co-owner of True Tech Tools. If you're in the market for tools or test instruments, mention the podcast. Take a look at truetechtools.com, T-R-U-T-E-C-H, tools.com. See what we carry. You can use the code HVACBS for a nice discount. I encourage you to listen to some of the other trade-related resources and influencers that are out there like the HVACR School, HVAC Shop Talk, Stephen Reardon, 
HVAC reefer guy, tool pros, service business mastery, quality HVAC, HVAC overtime, HVACR videos, home diagnosis.tv, AC service tech, and any of the content produced by MeasureQuick. I also host the Res Talk podcast, where you can learn more about the rapidly expanding world of home energy ratings and all the peripheral topics. I want to thank you for listening to the Building HVAC Science podcast. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you'd like to get in touch, drop me a line at bill at truetechtools.com. Thank you for listening to Building HVAC Science and have a wonderful day.